Unlike your car, which has fuel injectors and a complicated computer to meter the precise amount of fuel and air required for the situation, a paramotor engine is a lot more simple. And to get it to run effectively and correctly, you need to tune it. But while people avoid tuning their engines because it runs and they don't want to damage it, they might actually be doing more damage to their engine than they are good. In this module, we're going to dive into how to properly tune a diaphragm carbureted two-stroke paramotor engine, specifically focusing on the Moster 185, which is the most common paramotor engine at the time of recording this. These principles will apply to all diaphragm carbureted paramotor engines, but certain temperatures and figures may be a little Little bit different. So what is tuning? Well, an engine needs fuel, air, and a spark to run, but to run well, it needs that fuel and air mixed at just the right ratio. The carburetor's job is to mix that fuel and air at that right ratio. And depending on atmospheric conditions, more or less dense air will play a role in how our engine runs. The amount of fuel that comes into the engine will remain more or less the same, but based on our density altitude, flying from higher elevations with thinner air, the amount of air entering our engine will change, changing the fuel air mixture. Our job tuning the paramotor engine is to get that to the optimal state. We have two main terms we'll talk about with tuning, lean and rich. Lean is a general term referencing less fuel in the engine, while rich is a general term referencing more fuel in the engine. When we go up to higher density altitudes, we'll have to run the engine leaner to create the same ratio of fuel and air. A properly tuned paramotor engine will start easily and run smoothly through the entire RPM range. If your engine's shaking and is really hard to start or smokes when it's starting or stalls and idle, chances are it's not tuned properly. And there's some quick fixes we can do in this module to fix that, but we're also gonna dive into the nuts and bolts and how to do it really, truly the proper way. To start tuning our engine, we're gonna need a good baseline. We're gonna need fresh fuel, mix at the proper ratio of oil, and we wanna use the same ratio of fuel to oil. If we change that fuel oil ratio, it's gonna change our tuning, so just pick one and stick with that. For the Moster, it's 2.5% oil, which is about 66 parts gas to one part oil. That's a good place to start. I like to start tuning with a fresh spark plug. A spark plug is a really simple wear item on a paramotor. If your paramotor engine's not running like it did a few weeks ago, it's probably the spark plug, so just change it out. But fresh fuel and oil and a fresh spark plug and an engine that's generally maintained and doesn't have any obvious problems with it. This is the baseline to start tuning our engine. Another note on spark plugs. A lot of people will pull their spark plug out and look at its color as a reference to how the engine is running. The two-stroke engine will run a lot cooler at lower RPMs, especially idle and the oil mixed into the fuel will not burn properly. It'll end up as a black sludge. To do a proper spark plug reading, you'd have to run your engine up to full throttle and hold it there until it was up to operating temperature, then hit the kill switch while the engine was running at full throttle. That would give you a picture of how the engine was running in the optimal state where all of the oil was burning. But honestly, it doesn't really matter that much, and I wouldn't really pay attention to what your spark plug looks like that much. It's often the case I'll see people go fly, go up to 3,000 feet, idle their engine all the way to the ground, and all this time that oil and the fuel is not burning and just collecting on the spark plug and it gets all black. And then they pull their spark plug out and they're like, whoa, my engine's running super rich. It isn't really. It's just a symptom of unburnt oil that was in the fuel because the engine was idling. So to start our tuning process, we're going to need to get a picture of how the engine is running currently. To do this, we'll start it up, let it idle for about a minute. Generally, metals will expand and contract with temperature and as a rule of thumb, you wanna let your engine idle for a little bit before you start applying power. Once it's up to operating temperature, we're going to need to do a throttle sweep and we're going to be looking for certain symptoms through this throttle sweep. To view the rest of this paramotor tuning lesson, along with 39 other modules just like it, visit vimeo.com slash on-demand slash paramotor101 to begin your paramotor educational journey today.